All right, Shalom, Shalom. First and foremost, I'm going to start off by giving all praises, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai Bahashim, Rakah Kodash. Secondly, I want to give double honors to our apostles and our elders here at Great Millstone for teaching us this truth and who rule well. And Shalom to all you brothers across the four corners of this earth pushing this word with all righteousness and sincerity. Shalom. All right, it's your brother Kabad from GMS Heavy Honor 144, GMS South Carolina Midlands Camp. Just coming back with a very quick video through the power and the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. And Lord willing, this video is edifying and good nourishment to the house of David. And uh, just getting straight into this video, as we see on the screen, it says a Nebraska groom died an hour after his wedding. Friends say. All right. And uh, just getting into it, man. Uh, apparently. Hey, well, this is why hey, through the scriptures, man, we say the most high is a, is a power not to be mocked. And, and, and it's a fearful thing, as the scriptures tell us in um, uh, Hebrews chapter 10, verse 31, is a fearful thing to fall into the hands of, of the Lord, man, the living power. Yahweh by Shem, Yahweh Shai. All right. Because in this article. Right. Um, and I'll read a little bit of it. All right. And uh, just to give uh, brothers and sisters the just of it. Hey, this individual here, man, like 10 minutes after he so-called said, I do. And the most high had this dude and uh, he died, man. All right. And that's the and that's the will of the heavenly father. I know you have people say like, well, how can you say how can you say that? You know, what I mean, we got we must remember. Let's get this real quick. We get back to all the scriptures that I had on on uh, on hold. We must remember this right here, man. All right. Because you have some people that would be like, oh, that's so insensitive to say. But at the end of the day, man, just keeping it all the way a, a stack, man, keeping it all the way a thousand, a hundred, man. And look, this guy is overweight, man, first and foremost. And then, and then secondly, man, this ain't the time to be having your head up your goddamn. Uh, uh, first and foremost, as a man, you shouldn't never have your head up your woman ass anyway. But in this in this society, the time frame that we in now. And you got goddamn Jake having their, their heads all up their women ass, man. All right. Doing things to please their women. We're in a time of great wrath, man. You got uh, people, the Israelites that I'm referring to, that's in their minds are in, in, in tune with, oh, I got to get married. I want to just have uh, uh, the, 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 uh, the, the, the white picket fence, so, so to speak, man. The, the so-called American dream, man. All right. And all that shit is bitter, man, because America goes in, uh, if I'm not mistaken, into mean and bitter, man. Because that's all it is, is bitterness for the Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans here anyway, man. All right? But our people are under the illusion that they're uh, are free. And uh, this is the the land of, of opportunity, so to speak, man. But anywho, staying on, on, on topic, man. As you can see, this guy is overweight, man. And and, and then also, they're not coming in the spirit of of, of the of the true Lord and Savior, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, man. All right? They probably, you, you know, more than likely... They got married under the, uh, uh, first of all, they having a goddamn uh, wedding, man. And that ain't got nothing to do with the scriptures, man. All right. And um, as I said, man, we're going we're gonna, to, um, because you have people be like, oh, how can you, this is, but this is all the will of the Heavenly Father, man. The Most High is in control of everything. Now, let me just prove that. And then I'm going to show some more photos. I'm going to read uh, uh, a little bit of the article. And just, you know, uh, a few scriptures and that be that. But this is Isaiah 45 and 7. It says, I form the light. I create darkness. I make peace and create evil. I, the Lord, do all these things. So it was the Lord, Yahweh by Shema Shai, that ordained for the heavenly uh, host of angels hey, to take this guy out, man. All right. Ten minutes after his goddamn wedding, man. All right. Ten minutes after his wedding, man. All right. Now it says uh, a bride turns widow within 10 minutes. Groom dies at wedding, man. The Heavenly Father don't play, man. All right. How about your mouth shot does not play, man. And as you can see, this guy, once again, he's overweight, man. Look at this guy, little ass hands, man. With little ass hands, man. All right. You got this, got this uh, overweight Eve as well. Right. The, 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 the kids about to be overweight. All right. And this is supposed to be the, the best day of their life, man. All right. And, 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 and it turned... Hey, the Most High is is not a power to play with, man. This 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 woman here, man, Eve here, uh, got married and became a, a widow all in the same day, man. All right, how about Shema Shai is not a power to be played with, man. All right, now um, like I say, hey, hey, this dude <laughs> got his last kiss, man. All right, kiss of death, man. All right, but see, this is the mind frame of our people, man, and we're gonna get that scripture uh, in Luke about our people. Bidding themselves into marriage, just like the time of Noah, man. All right. Now, um, 
reading a little bit of it. It says, a groom in Nebraska died an hour after his wedding. Ceremony began, friends of the bride say, in front of their children, parents, family, and friends, uh, 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 the dude, his name is Tor Torres, and his chick name is Johnny May, walked down the aisles Monday and promised the rest of their lives to each other. Shortly after, the groom fell and the ambulance responded, turning what was supposed to be a celebration of a lifetime into a loss. The happiest day of, of their lives turned into a day of tragedy. That's why the Lord says, woe to you and your feast days in Amos, man. Because guess what? These people were ready to feast it up, getting married, uh, uh, living it up. And the Lord said, woe to you. The Lord uh, killed this dude at his wedding, man. All right. The Lord is not a, pl a power to be mocked, man, or uh, to be played with, man. All right. Now it says um, now friends are trying to support the uh, bride. And um, <laughs> hey, hey, look, now they got to have an online fundraiser to try to uh, uh, raise money for for the uh, uh, for a funeral. But hey, man, look, you see what I'm saying? This is why hey, this is not the time to be bidding in the marriage, man. Eve became a, a widow. And uh, um, she was so-called a wife and a widow all in the same day, man. That's the power of the Lord, man. Now, let's get um, real quick. Let's get Ecclesiastes because at the end of the day, man, this is what the penalty of being in the house of mirth is, man. All right. Now, it says it is better. Ecclesiastes chapter seven and uh, two. It is better to go on the house of mourning than to be than to go to the house of feasting. Ecclesiastes seven and two. It is better to go to the house of mourning than to go to the house of feasting for that is the end of all men and the living will lay it to his heart, man. So the scripture said it is better to uh, uh, better to go to the house of mourning than the house of feasting. And guess what? People were in the in, in a feasting mind frame, uh, a mindset, as we quoted earlier, Amos chapter five, man, when it tells you woe to you, uh, uh, woe to you, that when the Most High says he he will not smell at your uh, your feast days and he despised your feast days, man. All right. We're supposed to be in the house of mourning, but guess what? People were in, and in, in, as we read a little bit of that article, family and friends were saying, oh, this was supposed to be a great day, and it turned out to be a tragedy lost for them, man, all right? Because they were in the fucking house of mirth, man, all right? Now, when we jump down to uh, Ecclesiastes 7 and 4, it says, the heart of the wise is in the house of mourning, but the heart of fools is in the house of mirth, be mirth because there was a lot of foolish people, man, including the, the groom and the bride, man, that were uh, 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 participating in mirth, man, when we're not in the time of mirth right now, man. We're in the, in the time of great persecution coming upon the nation of Israel, man, the Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. But once again, judging by these photos, man, hey, these jakes wasn't worried about that, man. Hey, hey they couldn't uh, push them, themselves away from the goddamn table, man. All right. They probably would have more than likely got caught up in the goddamn famine and would have been uh, uh, hunted, uh, hunted, hunted down like some goddamn wild uh, uh, bulls or something. And, and more than likely uh, eating for cannibalism, man, because look at these jakes, man. This, these jakes are in, in poor health conditions, man. Poor health conditions, man. And that, and, that, and that really affects the Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans because our people don't care about the Lord. They don't fear the Lord. They don't care about their dietary plans. They don't care about nothing but fulfilling the lust of their goddamn flesh, man. And see, this is an example of how angry the Lord is with the, with, with the wicked every goddamn day, man. All right? Not only with the, with, uh, the, with the heathens, of course. You know, the Lord has a, 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 a perpetual and a, and, a, and a forever hatred towards uh, uh, these less than nothing heathens or whatnot. But how much more his children, man? The Lord is very upset with the way that the Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans are, 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 are conducting and handling themselves out here, man. Especially when we're in the age of information and when our people should know better right now, man. But you still have Jake, once again, in the house of goddamn uh, 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 mirth, man. Because, look, they're in a mirth spirit. They, uh, the gluttonous spirit has gotten uh, to them. They're in the spirit of um, wanting to be married in, in that party party spirit. All right. In the spirit of committing uh, spiritual adultery, because guess what? They're in the spirit of Jesus Christ, man. All right. Sweet Jesus Christ, man. Getting named, getting married in the name of Jesus. All right. And, and, and more than likely, you know, this uh, this uh, uh, professor clump ass dude right here. He, he's done popped this uh, Eve before. So they already was uh, uh, married, man. But having this whole ceremony is all wickedness, man. 
All right. And, and the most high just had this is an example of, 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 of what has happened before, man. And the most high hey, is nothing new under the sun, man. All right. People bidding themselves to marriage and perishing, man. All right. Just as in the days of Noah, and we got that on hold as well, too. But um, real quick, back to Ecclesiastes 7 and 4, the heart of the wise is in the house of, of mourning, man. All right. And the wise represents the elect, man, the hopeful, humble, fearful elect, because we're in a mourning state of mind, man, because this whole world is defiled and nasty, man. All right. We, we're sighing and crying for all the abominable things, man. Here it is. The most high is not a praise in this earth. So, yeah, that's why we got dog on it mourning all the time, man, because we're not going to be in a, in, in a state of wanting to have a, a, a true salvation and true rest until righteousness is established, man. All right. The wicked is still ruling, man. So this is why we're in that mourning state of mind, man. All right. Now, the scriptures allude to say, but the heart of fools is in the house of mirth and once again, these are foolish uh, Israelites right here, man. You got this stupid ass pastor back there, um, looking looking uh, 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 losses all outdoors, man. All right, just a whole bunch of madness, man. And, and the Lord is not the author of confusion, man. All right, Jake over here uh, uh, can't even uh, properly kiss his woman, man. Right, small hands and. Got to lean over and, as I said, out of shape, man. Bad health condition. This is why also, hey, through the spirit, our apostles and the elders been uh, emphasizing about, hey, uh, uh, being healthy, man. Being healthy all the way around, around. not only in your mind, also your body, man. Your mind, your mind body, and spirit is, is all connected, man. It's all the connection of being healthy, man. All right? But uh, Luke 17 and um, mind, body, and spirit connected to the most high man all right because we're walking in the uh uh in the in in the ways of yahweh by shimmy how shy man all right and the scriptures cover that how you're supposed to be uh, uh dietarily conducting yourself and whatnot the do's and the don'ts that which you're supposed to be eating and not man and the importance of fasting man and that's one thing jake our people do not like to do man as we saw those people on the individual guess best believe they weren't doing no no fasting the only fasting they was doing was fast fooding man all right, now this is uh, Luke 17 and 26. And it would, and, and as it was in the days of Noah, so shall it be also in the days of the Son of Man. It's written in red, Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shamashiach speaking. And it says, Luke 17 and 26, as it was in the days of Noah, so shall it be also the days of the Son of Man. They did eat, they drank, they married wives. They were given in marriage until the day that Noah entered into the ark and the flood came and destroyed them all. So guess what? And you had wicked ass Israelites. All right. People uh, bidding themselves to getting married. All right. Doing all type of abominable things under the sun, man. And, and guess what? Noah was uh, steady building that ark, man. All right. And then when that flood came now, now getting married and all that stuff don't seem important no more, man, because now they want to try to want to consider what Noah was out there prophesying about 120 plus years, man. All right. But prior to a hey, Jake was out there just doing whatever they want to do. Going back to as we read in Ecclesiastes seven and four, man, being in the house of mirth, man. All right. Being in the house of mirth hey, and they got destroyed, man. All right. How much more now, man? You still have our people bidding themselves to marriage, man, wanting to get married and doing all type of things that don't even matter right now, man. But that goes back into, as the scriptures tell us in Second Edris, man, most of the Negroes, uh, two thirds to be exact of the Negroes, Latinos and Native Americans are not in the spirit of measuring the time. All right. Paying attention to things that are going on around them. Once again, they're in that vibration, in that spirit of fulfilling the lust of their flesh, man. All right. And instead of uh, 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 meeting the needs of their, uh, of their spirit, man. All right. Jake will, will easily be in the spirit of, of fulfilling the lust of their flesh instead of, uh, fulfilling the, the needs of their, uh, of their spirit, man. All right. But they're going to give the flesh whatever it wants, man. All right. But what the spirit needs, man, and our people are, are in that mind frame, man. All right. Now it says, once again, Luke 17 and 27, they did eat, they drank, they married wives. 
and were given in marriage until the day that Noah entered the ark and the flood came and destroyed them all. And this time right here, man, we're, we're building that spiritual ark right now, trying to tell our people, don't be in the ways of the world, man. Don't be uh, 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 focused on the matters of this world. This is the time to be returning, getting right with the Heavenly Father, because guess what? This 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 2.0 flood is going to be a flood of, of fire, man. It's going to burn this place, man. Nuclear, thermo, thermonuclear fire, courtesy of those uh, R. Uh, ICBM missiles and courtesy of the chariots that the, the Lord Yahweh Yahweh Shai, all right, is going to, um, uh, that Lord Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, that fathership, and when Yahweh Shai comes in his glory, is going to be getting busy on this God dog on planet, man, for all the abominable things that go on uh, about us, man. Starting with the Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans first, man. The Lord says he's starting at this house first, man, all right, and we see this now, man. This Jake dropped dead at his goddamn wedding, man. Look how he look all discombobulated on this damn picture. Like he about to go down right now in this second, man. All right? The same way the Lord took out um a big pokey. Hey, the Lord, hey, the Lord is not playing right now, man. All right? The Lord has a has a has a, a, a certified hit list, man. And guess what? The Lord going to hit his target every go, uh, uh, dog on time, man. All right? Now, back in uh Luke 17 and 28, likewise also as it was in the days of Lot. They did eat, they drank, they brought, they sold, they planted, they built it. But the same day that Lot went out of Sodom, it rained fire and brimstone from heaven and destroyed them all. Going back into Lot, man. Whenever And, and that wicked ass city, man. All right, it was a whole bunch of uh, uh, Jake, well, as it just said. They did eat, they drank, they bought, they sold, man. And this is the mind frame of, of Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans right now, man. All right, they're, they're out here eating, they're drinking, they're they doing whatever they want to do, man. All right. And all these abominable things is going on. And this is why hey, the true men of the Lord, I'm, our mind frames aren't engulfed with the ways of society, man. All right. Aren't in, in, incorporated with trying to, to get down and be cool with everybody. What's going on? We're, our mind frame isn't about that, man. We're too busy stacking our, our heavenly treasures, man. All right. Getting our, our, our heavenly, uh, our heavenly spiritual bank account right, man. Instead of worrying about out here trying to chase the bag and trying to be in um amongst society with Esau and, and, and the rest of these uh reprobate ass uh, uh Israelites, man. All right, because two thirds of our people are in a reprobate state of mind, man. Aren't in the spirit of examining themselves, aren't in the spirit of Yahweh Yahweh Shai, man. All right. Now, um, as I said, and, and, and Lot, even thus, we're gonna finish this off, Luke 17 and 30, even thus shall it be in the days when the Son of Man is revealed, all right. And, hey, these things are still going on in the, in the earth right now, man. As we just seen, people are bidding themselves to marriage. People are out here buying, selling. Here it is all hell and confusion is going on right now, man. The dollar bill is literally, literally crashing. The R, the, the, the C-hip is literally being uh, uh, implemented more and more every day, man. All right? Pushed in the media, man. Every day, but our people, my frames are not on that, man. So when the Lord comes back, the clean house, man, all right, hey, two thirds of our people are going to be caught up in that goddamn rapture, man. No different how it was. Oh, uh, let me not use rapture because a hey, hey, our people are getting like, oh, see, he said rapture. They're going to be caught up in the wrath of the Lord, Yahweh by Shim Yahweh Shai. Let me let me say that, man. All right. As the Lord tells us, man, uh, uh, the wrath of his indignation, man, that he has against these heathen and, and against this goddamn wicked ass world, man. Two thirds of our people are going to get caught up in that. No different from as we read in the accounts now uh, of our people being in the house of mirth, man, like in that city with Lot and in, and in the time of Noah, man. All right. So um, this, this is this is a prime example and the latest individual that got taken out by the lord man for not being in the ways of the heavenly father yahweh by shimmy yahweh shai because guess what they took their little wedding vows and they was uh, uh praying to uh, 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 uh god but they wasn't praying to a, a, the true power man which is yahweh man all right they're in there they're in there praying to seji bojir man all right and, and and praying into uh uh a uh, uh, people that don't exist man all right but hey we got the true name. We know the true power, man. And we know that the Lord was not behind this, man. The Lord was not there, man, with these individuals, man. When they were, well, he was there, but not in support of, man. He was there to, hey, after they finished doing what they're doing, wrapping this, uh, this, this, this freak show up, the Lord was like, hey, man, go ahead and take, go ahead and take big boy out and send his spirit on back, man. <laughs> you know? So, hey, Eve became, a, uh, got married and became a widow all in one day, man. All right? 
So um, as I said, this was a very quick video. I brought this eyes with edifying good nourishment to the point. So I'm going to close by saying, call Halayim La Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Reka, HaKodash, double honors to our apostles and our elders here at Great Millstone for teaching us this truth and who rule well in Shalom to all you brothers across the four corners of this earth, pushing this word with all righteousness and sincerity. Until the next time I do say Shalom.